Okay, Georgia, 41 to 31. I, this is the second time I'm recording this because of audio issues. Look, uh, I think the game should have been something more like 41 to – or excuse me, maybe 50-ish to 17, something like that. Uh, State played fine in the third quarter and on. Um, you know, you got a tip ball turnover that I have not seen the replay on. Uh, the interception in the end zone from Carson Beck, that was a costly one. Um, he told he told us after the game that he felt like it was holding. Uh, I saw his eyes. I was actually locked in on Carson. When he saw Delp, his eyes got really big, really fast. He threw the ball. The kid from State made the play. They didn't call the penalty. It is what it is. Um, you know, these guys are not as good as the 21, 22, or probably the 23 team. But I think – I think what's so important to remember here or realize is, you know, we are at a moment in college football where, you know, how you win may not be the most important thing, but that you win is important. And, you know, I, you know, I, we, we spent the afternoon watching uh, South Carolina and Alabama. You know, a- Alabama just played the best game they could possibly play against Georgia, certainly for – you know, 35 minutes of that game, and they won because of that. And, you know, that should have served a lesson to Georgia of every, you know, every moment can matter in games. Um, You know, this game was virtually over. Even if they kick a field goal, um, I think they were up 17. If they they go up 20 with like eight minutes or whatever it was to go in the third quarter, it would have been just really hard. And as it turns out, it was really hard for State. So there's going to be – I've already gotten – a lot of text messages from people who are, you know, pretty sensible people who are not pleased with the way that this went down. And I mean, I, I just don't, I, my thing about it is that, um, these guys, this is probably their worst defensive day. I think it might've been, well, there were moments where this was pretty bad and comparable to Alabama because they just were not valuing the, the, the notion of the score, I guess. I mean, that, that the other team could score. So you, you can't give away moments and times. It was not going to affect you against Mississippi State, but it can against, like, somebody like, let's just say Georgia plays Clemson or something. Like, Clemson's not better than Georgia. Um, their quarterback has liabilities. There's, there's just issues there. I mean, we saw them, Georgia beat them by 30. You're going to hear the, the, the planes go overhead. There's nothing I can do about that. But if you don't value every snap the way that you have to, you could get tripped up by somebody like Clemson. Probably not. Probably not. But, you know, Georgia's probably going to come into this thing next week ranked number five or four. I mean, Penn State didn't look so hot today. And so you're, you're, you're sitting there saying, is this a national championship team? I mean, they've not proven that. They've not proven that. They've also not proven that they're that they're not capable of doing it either. I mean, so – we're just at we're just at a point right now that's a, a a strange point for everyone. You know, Georgia fans aren't used to this. They're not used to having to to drill out and go grab wins in tight ways. Um, it's it's difficult to for them. But Georgia should have ended this game. I don't know, certainly in the third quarter, um, but they didn't, and. Um, it's it's going to it's going to I, I suppose it could cost them, um, but then you had you know Carson is c- correct and he says when he says um, you know when you throw that much you're going to you're going to turn it over and he's he's right, but you don't have to throw that much if you run more effectively. I mean, like I can tell Kirby's aggravated. I don't know if it's because it's a young team or that he's got a lot of injuries that he doesn't want to have happen. Smile Monday, Tate Routledge. You didn't have Jared Wilson play again today. You know, now you see Branson Robinson go down. Um, we've not seen Roderick Robinson yet. I, I think sometimes it feels to me like Nate Frazier runs the ball better than anybody on the team. But I think that ETN is the better running back. I, I know that's a strange thing to say, but there's more to running back than just running the ball. Um, but man, when Frazier gets in there, he can do some stuff that, I mean, all of these runs are just like not quite there. And so then the question is, you know, if you're baking a cake and you don't put baking soda in it, it's not going to react the same way as it does when you do. And so does the return of Ratliff, see people are not considering 
Small Munden's coming back. Tate Ratchler's coming back. Jared Wilson's coming back. These guys were coming back. They will not be there next week. Jared Wilson could be. But, you know, you know now you've got a guy that can win the SEC, SEC football games and Drew Bobo. Now, I've not watched a lot of Drew during this time, but, I mean, I asked Kirby tonight, are y'all more comfortable throwing the ball? Because that's what it feels like to me. Now, when you go for 600 yards and you threw for five, you know, 450, you know, okay. But there were so many runs that were there tonight that they just did not quite get. And the last touchdown – was, as we used to say, Daisuke um, Matsuzaka. I mean, it was dicey on that last play. But I, d- I do think that there were more. There was more explosion tonight, which was not has not been the case a lot. I mean, Aaron Smith's got to play a lot more like he did after he dropped that ball in the first quarter. That, if that can be your Aaron Smith, I mean, that's, that, that's trouble. And then you look at Anthony. I would get Anthony Evans the ball as much as possible. He would be my lab McConkie. He would be my lab McConkie. He would be the guy that just like, and it's 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 just. And I thought defensively they hemmed him in the whole night, and then all of a sudden State got to where they had some confidence. Uh, the quarterback, so it just wasn't you know every. It, it, this is we're going to see more of this. It's that's what it is right now, man. I mean, like nobody is just out here crushing people. It's just not happening. I mean, Texas, I think, was sort of, from what our Dylan Weber said, it was it was fine. You know, it wasn't great, um, but I don't know what the final was there. You see, Penn State just probably should have lost, and they won at SC in overtime. That's a disaster. Alabama shouldn't have lost, but they almost did. This is like the worst 10 quarters of Alabama football I've seen in like 15 years. It's been bad. Georgia's going to have to grow up. I mean, like what I mean is, not, I don't mean, I'm not calling them immature, but it is a, a matter of not being disinterested, not being bored. It, and it's hard, man. I mean, I'm, I'm on the field too. I'm not playing. I don't have pads on or anything like that. But these games, there are lulls in the game. And you can get bored. And the opposition is usually not in that position. On the road, it feels like you're always juiced up on the road because you're, you're fighting everybody. But sometimes at home, the crowd can lull you to sleep. I do think it was better today. I'm just going to tell you, man, that upper corner, you know who you are. It's embarrassing. Like, you're not showing up to games. You don't care. And that's your prerogative. Just don't use the tickets. Um, and and there's got to be a realization, too, that, you know, even though Mississippi State's an SEC school, they're not a school that anybody cares about except Ole Miss. That's it. No one else cares about them at all. So, um, but the crowd was good tonight. It caused a couple of false uh, starts, a couple, of, and, and they were in good moments. But like Kirby said, listen, man, it, the, the, it ain't the crowd. The team has got to play better when they need to play better. When you've got a situation where, you know, the per, one of the personal fouls was not a personal foul. Like these officials have gotten out of control with this stuff. And, and it, it's just, you know, if, if a guy is following through, running, I mean, like – if the quarterback goes to the ground because a defender hits him, that's not necessarily pass uh, roughing. And, uh, I mean, I've not seen that called for Georgia this season. Not that I can recall. And I've seen it hurt Georgia at least twice, the Kentucky game and then this game. Because that get, that's third down, and they score on that drive. And so I, I, they, they, he just missed that call. He just straight up missed that call. That happens in sports. Sometimes you miss the call, but – Get off the, you know, get off the field in other situations. Um, Dylan Bell, it just, I mean, they got some guys, man. Like Dylan Bell, Evans, Arian Smith when he's, you know, locked in. Your assess has got to have better perimeter blocking. That's just all there is to it. He's just not doing a good job at that right now. And it, and it's whereas with the interior block, I can't see that. But when it's on the perimeter, he's got to do a better job. Period. He did have a very good catch. Uh, down the Georgia sideline. Um, they didn't play great, and they won by 10. Uh, they scored 41 points. They had 600 yards. It, it's, you know, it's a lot of stuff. And, and you know, they're not just going to go out there and kill everybody every time. That's A. But B is when you have the opportunity to close games out and to take it to the house and Dunner Stockton gets in there, then you do that. Then you do that. 
I thought, I mean, I, I'd have to go watch it. Um, I thought, you know, Carson, again, when you're throwing it 50 times, I mean, it's just not an ideal situation, but I thought he was pretty good today. I, 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 I have to say, I know I'm, I'm much calmer about a lot of stuff than most people, but the, the concern is not the offense. I mean, I, I, you'd like to see them run the ball better, more effectively when they run. That didn't happen tonight the way that it kind of should have. I mean, it, it was similar to what I said, but they, Georgia was about 50 yards shy of what I would have expected them to get. And State was like at 80. I don't have the stats. I, I left them downstairs like a moron. But that, that yardage would have made a difference in this game. So, um, you know, it could have gr- grinded it out. I, I, will, I will add, though, that the last touchdown drive from Georgia, the statistics didn't have the time on it. I asked Carson about that. That was one of the great drives to kill a game off I've seen in a long time. I mean, it must have been a six-minute drive. It was a 16-play, 81-yard drive. That much I remember. I don't know how much time came off the clock. They barely scored at the end. Like, Georgia's straight up bad at 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 two-yard and end situations, it seems. It seems like if they're like that, the four or five, they're in better shape, uh, even running the ball. But, like, it's not great when they just kind of man up on somebody. I, I don't know. I mean, I think back to the Florida game in 19 or whenever it was. But they went for it multiple times on fourth down. I thought those were smart calls. I wouldn't have kicked a field goal. I would not have kicked a field goal. You know, I I, I don't know. I think I, Look, like I said, are you thinking about the Kentucky game still? You know, no. But the defense has got some work to do. I mean, obviously teams that throw it are going to score on Georgia. But, I mean, this game was relatively over. This game was over. And, you know, then you have the pick in the end zone. Um, that's what gave Georgia Tech life. This game was somewhat similar to that last year, somewhat. Um, but it's not there yet. It's not there yet. Now, you know, when I was leaving, Florida was beating Tennessee. I'm not – I don't know what's going to happen there. You'll see this Sunday morning. I'd, I'd be surprised. I'm going to be shocked. I mean, they can beat them up there. But, like, there's – like, what the close of this season looks like might not at all look like these first six games. You know, I will remind you that Clemson, uh, Clemson, Auburn, and Alabama have all been on Georgia's schedule as well as uh, a knife fight at Kentucky. So you have all that, and now in game seven, I think the math is getting away from me, you're going to go there on the road to Texas. I mean, Georgia's going to play three teams that are ranked in the top ten right now. They will have played them all. Ohio State's played one. Oregon's played one. I think Texas will be there first. So uh, I think Alabama's played one. So Georgia's really had a slog here. But they do need to close it out. They do need to close it out. Make sure that you're signing up for our newsletter. I got a little bit longer to go here. I'm going to keep rambling. Make sure you want to sign up for our newsletter. The link is right down below. We can't do this stuff without y'all, but I'm asking you directly to sign up for our newsletter. It doesn't cost any money, and you get everything that we read, you know, write. Um, I can't tell you to go right now and read, you know, Thoughts from the box, although you should, but that comes out in the email. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, there were a couple other things I was going to say. I, I'm not aware of what that television show was, but apparently bro is a big deal. Um, I just live in my own cocoon of, you know, sports and news, and I don't, I don't really pay attention to a lot of entertainment um, for whatever reason. But unless it's Big Brother, we, we, do, we certainly dabble. We are, we are, we, we are uh, dabble adjacent in Big Brother in our household because we have just no, we love trash television. Uh, That shows where I'm at. But um, I I think these guys are going to, you're going to need the return of Munden, Ratledge, and probably Wilson. That will help. Um, I would get the ball to Evans a lot. (laughs) That guy is a freak. I would get the ball to Frazier a lot he had it that one too is a pretty good one too man i mean like it's it's pretty good they did they run that trick i did i couldn't see the trick play with cash jones who's obviously a very capable player for this team dan jackson had a great game let me get back to dan jackson a second cash jones when that when they split that over having not seen it from up top 
that was like, uh, you know, Carson, they just moved over and whatever happened, happened. It was a big play. And I thought they were going to call holding on Georgia because they sure did hold on the left-hand side of the line. But they, they called something on state. They had pass interference on state. That's the first time that, that's been called against Georgia this year. And state still scored a touchdown on that drive. So Mississippi State, in many ways, they, they, they should be given credit for not fighting. But, man, a lot of stuff broke their way that kind of had to in order for this game to be close. Just saying like it is, that's true. At the same time, you know, if you're Georgia, you don't have to allow that. That's that's not something you got to allow. Lawson Lucky is playing outstanding. Dan Jackson, I think, is playing outstanding. Although I have to say it's harder for me to see secondary guys. I can assure you that Lawson Lucky is playing very well. Um, you know, the defensive line was good today, it seemed like. I'm not sure if it was great. That's harder for me to tell. They only allowed – um, 70-ish yards, but some of the run yards did really, really hurt Georgia when they ran. Um, but, but you know, globally here, I mean, I mean, I mean, Alabama looks like they're in real trouble. Just what it is. Um, Georgia looks like Georgia looks like a team that can win the national championship that is full blown not interested in looking like it right now. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I, next week, I, I mean. It won't tell us a lot. It'll just be another, you know, top ten game. That'll be four top ten games in seven games for Georgia. That's that. I mean, that's what the playoff is going to be like. But the difference is Georgia's playing it in their first seven games. Everybody else is going to play it at the end of the season. Now the question, you know, and the question is, does will that make a difference? Will that make a difference? I I ranted a lot on Friday at Red Zone, our buddies Scott and Mindy at Red Zone on Clayton Street. I ranted a lot on Friday about how great it is here. And I just want to tell you, this, 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 you don't get this at other places. Like the, the, the combination of the ability to just go down, you can go downtown right now and eat a legitimately really good meal. Okay. Obviously you can go down and have downtown and have fun. You can just go back in your car and go back to Atlanta or Macon or Augusta or wherever you live. People don't appreciate Georgia, the, 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 this experience, the way they should. It's a great place, man. This, it's, it's, it, is, it is, you know, when you, when you see Mississippi State, it's not in the same universe. It's just not. And I think that, you know, Georgia folks, yes, they're a bit spoiled right now. But, you know, when they get back to Athens, when they get to Jacksonville, when they get back to Athens, this stadium is going to need – the team is going to need this stadium because this team is obviously not capable of just flying past everybody, all right? We're not at that point anymore. That That's come and gone. I know it doesn't look like anybody is, to be honest with you. So, you know, they're going to need this stadium. And you've got so – it's so great in Athens. You have no – I mean, I'm telling you, if you've never been anywhere else, you don't know how good it is at Georgia. It's, it's a really good place. All right, I am going to wrap it up uh, from a very now night, nightfall in uh, Sanford Stadium. Thanks for watching. Dean Leggy, Dog Post. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.